We think we're good stewards of the, of the land. We like to cut trees, but we grow trees also. I mean, we can do this from, from now on. There's no other business that can do this. Our trees take in carbon dioxide and put out oxygen. I mean, how could it be better than that? Being a tree farmer is a, is a wonderful thing. I, I mean, I guess that's one of the reasons that I'm passionate about it. I love what I do. I mean, it's, I do, I, I love it. I, I don't know if I can really explain it, but. This is a great wildlife spot back here. I think the next time around, we'll just kind of get the rest of these few forked trees and some of these have been struck by lightning. We'll just kind of sanitize it one more time and then, uh, then let it grow until we're ready for a final harvest and replant. Man, I'm liking it. This is really kind of where it all begins. Whether you're um, a kid going hunting with your dad for the first time or whether you came up in the city and you'd like to get out and hike, this is just a pure and clean, and this is where we begin. This is where we, we try to nurture the environment and what, what we have in the woods. Timber growing is long-term farming, and that's what we like to, to let people recognize. We're just like other types of agriculture. We're not deforesting the world. We're simply growing a crop on a 30-year rotation. Then we start it over, just like you would a, a field of corn or sort of. I honestly had a very negative opinion of the lumber industry before I came on. I used to see just the logs coming in, and I thought, wow, they are killing all these trees. After I've worked here for almost 10 years, I realized the lumber industry with us, we are actually pro-environment. We're the ultimate conservationist. We're growing a crop out here that we want to be here in the next 25 years and in the next 50 years. In 1993, I believe, a young man walked in the door and tall and skinny and he wanted a summer job. Kelvin and I started out as a boss and employee relationship, and over the years we've really grown. And he is not only my mentor, he's probably one of my best friends. We have grown together through the growth of the company. He went at a restaurant that I used to work at, and he was a longtime customer, so uh, he had already seen me work before, so he said, you're a hard worker, come to Sealy. He's here on a day-to-day -day basis. You can tell he loves this place. He's out every morning walking. It's something good to see every morning when the owner is out, you know, circulating himself and making himself available to everybody. I remember the day I walked in the door and his feet were kicked up and he was a very easy interview. He just said, come to work tomorrow and here I am 28 years later. We've been in uh, Walker County since 1896. My great-grandfather, is the one that started, then his son, my dad, and then myself. I bought my dad's company in 1983 when we had seven employees. And now we have about 130 employees. I was about 16 years old when I come in from Mexico. What I started doing was sweeping floors. Later on, supervisors told me, hey, I want you to do this job. So I got next job, learned it pretty good. And then I just keep on working myself up, you know, just keep going up and up. And it got me to the position where I'm in right now. I am the plant manager for Landscape of Sprite. I grew up in Huntsville, lived here all my life, and actually I was raised about two miles south of the sawmill here. I manage our pellet facility, Huntsville Pellets. Prior to working at Steel Lumber, I really didn't have any knowledge of the uh, wood pellet industry. I had no idea. The complexity of the equipment, the computers, how technologically advanced it is. I started over here with this company with the clean it up, do it that stuff. And right now, I'll basically, I'm going to do the loading trucks, help it with the inventory, with the lumber, and I like it. Whenever we have any problem, I, I get out of my shop, I get out of my comfort zone and help. If you have the mechanic shop under control and I got all my machines good, I can go and do something else and help. You gain experience whenever you come and work over here. I've always felt like I'm a, I'm a part of it. I don't just work here. I, I feel like I'm building something that I'm a part of, not just building it for someone else. We have grown tremendously over the last 
28 years especially. But even in the last 10, we've had a pretty big growth model that has involved updating the sawmill, putting a lot of new technologies in, um, getting our production up, but more so becoming more efficient, which leads to our lateral integration with our pellet mill and our landscape division and our construction arm and our retail nursery and our philanthropy. Instead of leaving this stuff out there on the woods, we get it here, we uh, process it, and within a five or six months, we got a good looking material we can sell out to the public. Everything gets used. When they debark all the logs, the mulch gets used, the uh, sawdust, we use that for fuel. A lot of it we dry, we send across the street to the pellet mill. Sustainability, if you look at it from the green perspective, nothing goes to waste here. We even take it the next step and have a construction company, Inpace Builders, and we're exploring new construction techniques and CLT lumber. We're just trying to take the whole gamut from the tree all the way to the building. Our idea is that you can be environmentally conscious from top to bottom and still remain profitable. Well, I married my childhood sweetheart. We've been married 48 years. <laughs> Dang, man. Woo! Pretty trees out here, isn't it? You know, some people want to run around with their buddies or go do other things, but she and I just do everything together. I mean, she's the best thing that ever happened to me. She's my best friend, my partner, and we have two children, Zach and Ashley, and we have four grandkids, six counting Chris's that maybe two or three of them, maybe all of them, I don't know, They maybe they'll want a big part in the company and see it on after, uh, after we're gone. But I told them that one day, we looked at these little trees that we just planted and it, it's going to be a forest when they're 20 years old. And so they can just continue on, but I'm, I'm proud of that. What year is this? The C in 02, it was 13 and 4 tenths. 97 is 11 and 2 tenths. 11 and 2 tenths. Seventeen and eight tenths. So yes. We're getting pretty good growth. Yeah, for sure. Five years, twenty-five years. The Lord's blessed us with more than I ever could imagine, and so we try to spread it out. You ask anybody in town about steel lumber, and they'll say good things. And they have a presence in the community that not all of the businesses have. We really try to be active in the community as far as giving back to our local fair, giving back to local schools, supporting local baseball teams and football teams. A lot of our employees just take pride in having our name on the back of their jerseys and that's something that makes us happy. They support many different kids, many different organizations and they're always there if you need somebody to help donate or help support or help fundraise, they're always gonna be there to help. We try to treat people like we would want them to treat us. Sometimes we're pretty forgiving. We try to take care of them. If they have a family emergency, if they have an illness or if something happens, we help them. So we just try to make it a place where they would like to work. But they do have to work if they're here. It's, there's really not any easy job here. It's all hot in the, hot in the summer and it's cold in the winter. But uh, we got the crew that will work through it all. It just amazes me how through all this growth at the sawmill, they've been able to maintain still a, a non-corporate attitude. It's still a very family bonded unit. And, and I guess that's why I like being here. We can joke around, but whenever it's time to get the work done, we get the work done. When I'm come here, I feel like a family. I remember the couple days, my first days, I know how to be good English. And over here, they trust you, they help you. They give it to you the confidence and they help me a lot. They trust in me, especially with the Chris, Mr. Calvin, everybody in the office. They don't speak too much Spanish, but they help me. That's what I like in this company. It's hard work. It's a good place to work. It's a safe place to work. It's family oriented. 
I've already retired once. So for me just to be here and be part of this family, this is where I want to end my working career. My wife laughs at me because when we go out, uh, I'm always looking at, at trees and Zach likes to find airheads. I've never found an airhead in my life and probably couldn't because I never look down. I always look up at the trees. <laughs> and so I'll, I'll step on a snake or whatever. I don't look for them, but I'm looking at the trees.